Hello, my darlings. Happy Monday to you all and welcome to Let's Build. And welcome to a brand new build. We're going to be starting the town hall today. So Strangerville town hall slash library-esque kind of thing. Um, a few reference images, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Who can say? Ta-da! Something like this. Quite colonial looking, I would say. Just so it fits in with the surroundings, okay? I think that's going to be the best way to go. Um, going to try and get this done in kind of two to three parts as well. So again, I'll probably do a bit of it off camera and whatnot. Uh, just because I'm preferring kind of doing it that way. It allows me to then go back to something and put in a lot of detail and then show you guys what I've done, blah, 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 blah. Still haven't finished the Rainbow Residence. I didn't get time over the weekend, mainly because I just switched off online. Everything I switched off over the weekend and just chilled out. So as soon as it's done, it will be this week. I will get the Rainbow Residence up on the gallery for you. Also this week, I will be getting early access to The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. So I'm going to be doing a full build and buy, well not build and buy, a full game pack review. So I'll be doing the whole expansion review for you guys. And this Friday I was saying that we were going to be bringing a modern farmhouse to the channel. Don't worry, that is still coming. But in celebration of the new pack, I think I'm going to use the new pack to build something in the new world as a speed build this Friday. So be on the lookouts for that, my lovely, lovely friends. And also, I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight at 7pm GMT. I've got to remember that we're in that time zone now. And I'm going to be playing around and shopping for some custom content. So if you guys want to come along on a little CC shopping trip with me, then 7pm GMT Twitch. Anyway... Without further ado, let's get into game and start building the exterior to the town hall. Let's get building. Um, the only thing about this lot that makes me absolutely fume is the fact that this path does not connect onto the grid properly. So whatever you put down, it will always look offset. Because if I did it like a three or a two, it's still kind of offset to the path. <sighs> Very fuming. Very fuming about that. My The Virgo inside me is crying, I tell you. Absolutely crying. So maybe I'll try and balance it out as much as possible as I can with a five width front. We're going to give it a good old bash. So I'm not even looking at the reference picture. I kind of not know what I'm doing, but I kind of want this moment in front here to have kind of a, what would you call it? Um... No idea. No idea what I would call it, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> we're going to do it. You're just going to have to see what I come up with because I don't, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> right, that's the front facade. My thoughts were putting in like a... Uh, is this going to be... Ba I don't... I just necessarily have to be balanced. But putting in this kind of like veranda moment. We're going to call it a veranda. I don't know what it's called. Um... And you don't need to let me know in the comments either, you lovely people. Trust me, I'm not that interested. <laughs> but something like this at the front. This is all going to be risen up as well, like with stairs. So maybe I'll do that now before we start building. And then it'll all start connecting in nicely. And I think I'll do a stair moment each side. Or we could just do one of these in the front. And I could just do a single staircase in the front. Oh, I might do that actually. Okay, right, so main front of the build. Um, At the top, maybe a, this is going to be a roof line here, I think. So at the top, do I want to do that again? Yeah, I kind of do. I'm going to do that. I am going to do a balcony over this bit here as well. Maybe to like frame into this side, so two square wide one, maybe. We'll just get that at the top first for balance purposes. I'm going to change that height to medium as well. Don't want it to be too tall in this um, area. I mean, it's not going to be taller than this anyway. But I still want it to have some kind of impact, you know? You know? Right. And then I'm not going to go too... And I'm not going to make it too big either. I'm going to... Let's get that grid on down here, shall we? 
So these are the two wings that come off the side. Um, there's a two there and a five there. Yes, I think it is. And then back into meat there and there. Is that right? Four and four it is. And then I'm going to come all the way to like there. And there. Lovely. Okay, so we've got another veranda moment there. Maybe just a two wide one. And I'm not going to... Oh, I wanted those wings to be a bit more dramatic than that, but we can't. We can't. Why is it three on one side and two on the other? Ah, I did the back wrong. I did the back wrong. So that's why that was unbalanced. Found it. I was like, my God, see, this is why I don't play with symmetry builds because not only do I do not like them, I'm um, <laughs> bad with symmetry, apart from when cutting hair. Because <laughs> you need that skill as a hairdresser. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> you really do. And I'm not a hairdresser anymore anyway. I'm a full-time... I don't know if you knew, but I'm a full-time content creator on YouTube. Yeah, I know. Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> oh, God, the lag. What's the lag about? Stop it. There's nothing... Stop it. Just stop. Right. Yes. Okay. And then what I want is a moment like this. Stop it. Do I want to go up a bit higher than that? Maybe go up two of them. Maybe two short height ones. Let me see that. Let me see that, my darling. Oh, yes, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Just looking at me of a monitor just to check out balance. Okay. And then this roof line here is going to be a gabled roof to there, to there, and just pull you forward to there, love. And I'm going to pull you down to get that look that these American town halls seem to have. British people's town halls look very different to American town halls. So I'm not struggling with this build. But it's different to what, I'm, to what I'm used to anyway. As has been this whole build series, really. <laughs> because, because, yeah. Right, will you go? Nope, you will be a bastard. I'm just balancing this wing out on either side here. What I need to do with that is do that like that. And then bring that in there. And then tuck that into there. Oh, God. What did I do there? I oh, know that is right. Yeah, I just want to balance this wing out equally on this part. So I'll do the same over this side too. So I've just put some stairs in. And I've also moved the lot back as well. Just to get a bit more drama through the front there. A bit more drama, my loves. Um, I'm going to tuck these flaps in. Because I do want a balcony moment on each side. In fact, I might... No, we'll just do a balcony at the front here. Let's get these roofs on these side as well, actually. I think I'll go for half gabled back here. Um, and just flop these into position. Just on either side here. Um, yeah, and I might pull the flaps down on that. Might do. Not going to change the, like, shape of the roofs either. I think I'm going to keep them at their default kind of, like, bendage. No idea what that means, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Stunning. Oh, yes. Yes, I do believe so. I do believe so, indeed. Okay. And let's get those balconies on as well. Now, what? Can I use that university fence here? Does it come in a white? That's the question. Um, I can't remember if it does or not. Oh, God, I've just noticed. Look at that. Let's take that. Um, let me find it. So I've put on two like curved pieces onto the edge or the front of the actual town hall itself. I'm going to change the roof line. I'm going to change this roof line to be up here instead, I think. I think because I do want to do this like colonial kind of like pillar moment in the front of the build. Um, so I'm going to try and loop it up here instead. Um, I'm unsure of what roof we're going to do on top here. I haven't really decided on that. So we're just going to keep it as it is for the moment. Uh, yeah, I think this would work a bit better. Not sure if these balconies will work now, but I'm going to give it a good old bash, my loves. I really am. I may even just get rid of this altogether. Like so. Yeah, did I get rid of that then? What did I just delete? Oh, it was, I did. I deleted the right things, which is, um... 
rather new for me. Because <laughs> I always delete the wrong things. Right. Okay. Ignore these stairs as well. I don't know if I'm going to do it in a red brick just yet. My thoughts were red brick. Red brick with like white trim and stuff. Just so it kind of blends in. But I'm thinking maybe more on this kind of tone. The like brownie brick instead. Um, But I'm unsure just yet. So please hold. I think maybe keeping those pieces in actually. Hmm, maybe, right? And then I need to find the perfect pillar. So this is kind of what I've done. Um, got rid of this floor here and put up these like colonial posts. Um, or pillars, whatever you would call them. Column, even. <laughs> um, and I've put them around the front of the build like this. Looks a bit weird at the minute. I've also put a roof line on. Not sure about this roof yet. Might change this roof slightly, but for the minute, I think that looks okay. Okay. And towards the back, this is what it's looking like towards the back. I'm going to do like a balcony moment up here, I think. Um, with some more stairs, obviously, into this area. But I'm unsure on windows and stuff yet. So I might do that off of cam in just a sec. But first, what I want to do is figure out the shape of what I want this clock tower to be. Do I want it to have like a pointy roof on it? Oh, I think I do. I was going to round this roof off slightly. I will try it just to sort of see. Uh, can I pull you down slightly? Oh, that looks good as well. Maybe just, I need to bring that just down a little bit more. Um, I think I preferred the pointy roof just because of the shape of this building. I think it needs to have a little bit more of a pointy roof. I might just round it off just slightly at the top. We'll put a big... Kind of pot or a flag on top of there as well. This is going to have like a clock face on it as well, I think. Um, yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Oh, this doesn't come out as far as what I need it to. If I do it one more though, it's going to look weird from the front. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, if anything, that looks quite nice. I don't like the shape of this roof though. I need to change the shape of the roof slightly. Yeah, I do need to just tweak it just like that, I think. Just like that. And I'll do the same here as well. Just one down. And I'll do the same with these two. Just one. There we go. Oh, that might... No, that's fine. And the same here. I was going to keep these on default, but... I think that just adds something a bit more there. Do I want to go a bit more wider with this at the front? Let's try that as well. Just to see. Oh, I kind of prefer that. I will just tweak this one slightly as well. Don't want this one too much, just ever so. Can we get a little, just a little bend like that? That's better. Oh, yes. Okay. Right, I'm going to go and pick some wallpapers and make a start on the windows as well. See you in a sec. Wallpaper and trims are on. I've gone for this wallpaper. This wallpaper here that matches in quite nicely with the kind of few of the surrounding buildings, which I love. These columns here, which are base game, I think they look Turning. Um, and a mixture of the university trim, but also the base game trim as well. Just notice that they're not around here, though. Can we um, make that apparent or are you just going to be an asshole? Oh, OK. Are you going to be an asshole? I don't think they, you can see them anyway. Why was it not going around that one? Maybe I didn't put the flooring on that one or maybe it's already there and I just can't see it because it's non-existent. Oh, there's a gap there. Look, I see you. Don't think I can't see you, darling. Oh, God. Sims 5. Just do away with the trims. Just make them wall decorations so we can put them on wherever we like. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyway, windows. <laughs> also, unsure about the foundation yet. None of the foundations match in with this wallpaper um, and this flooring. Don't know if I'm going to keep that just yet. But I needed a filler there for the moment because it was looking weird without it. So we're putting them there. Okay. And I think I'm going to do... Is that right? Yeah, that's equal there. You, again, university windows are going to come in very handy for this build. I think these ones will fit this build perfectly. Now, is this medium height up here? Oh, it's hidden by the trim big time though, look. Big time. It's because it's cut trimming in on the bloody inside. I didn't ask you to do that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this and this. Look at the gaps either side here as well. Oh, Lord, give me strength. And it's getting rid of wallpapers and it's... <sighs> I'm not having it. 
I am not having it, Zim's team. Get that sorted. Get it sorted. For goodness sake. <laughs> then maybe these will fit in a bit better now. Grade A window. Well, you you got that right, sweetie. Um, If I can do them there. Let's have a look at that. Oh, I don't think we should go as big up there. I think we should go smaller at the top with windows. So maybe I'll find other university ones. Let's have a look, shall we? Hmm, maybe I can use these ones for a little bit of difference. Can I? Oh, I kind of... Would that lose? Oh, no, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. We can do them at the front as well, which is nice because it's got that lovely detail on the top. Um, do I want to just do one in the middle there? Hmm, or do we want to do two? Let's have a little goosey, shall we? Um, any of you guys Assassin's Creed fans out there? I've been checking out the latest early access footage. Not myself. I've been watching another streamer stream it. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm into it. I mean, if there's a Viking there, my knickers are off and I'm ready, my loves. I won't lie to you. I'm absolutely ready for a bit of Viking. What is, what is so sexy about Vikings? I think it's the hair. I think it's the long... Beautiful hair in the beard. I think that's what it is, loves. I think that's what it is. Oh, oh, I like those stairs with it. Yeah, I like those stairs, but it doesn't go with this at all. So I will change this now. Let me try and find something a bit better. There we go. Change the color of the stairs. So I went for the gray ones. And then I've used this glamour, which is base game. It's just got the nice lines in it and it lines up nicely with all of the columns and stuff. So I'm for it. Oh, it's starting to come together now. Starting to come together. Thank God, because I, I was losing my way. I was losing my way um, in the beginning of this. This is the third time I tried to build this. And that I'm happy with the shape now. So, je ne sais quoi And all of that, you know. Um, do we want to do a balcony across there as well in the middle? I kind of want to. But then I kind of don't because it's got the roof on top. No, we're not going to. Picking a door is going to be hard, though. Let's see what doors we can look. We'll have a look together, my loves. We'll have a look together. I'll do this on cam. Um, I don't know. It needs to be kind of like... Oh. Oh, well, that was so hard. That was such... <gasps> can I use those columns as well? I love those. I, keep... I always forget about those university columns. Oh, there we go. That's better. I do like that. I prefer these columns with it. I do. I do, I do, I do. We're going to do it up on this clock tower as well. Make a start on the clock tower too, darlings. Um, what I did with the clock tower is I went down to that level. Put these in here and then I pulled the columns up that way. It just suited it a bit better, it really did. Um, using the clock probably from get together as well would work well on this. I really want this like pretending that the town hall would ring every hour or something, you know, up until about 6 p.m. Uh, yes. Yes, that's nice. Okay, so clock. Right, if we go into bedroom. This is just the easiest way to find clocks. Ta-da. There we go. And then using this one. Is that okay? Oh, that's perfect. I don't want to go black with it, though, I don't think. I think I want a bit of a a golden -y hue to it. Or even a silver. Or brown. No, I think I preferred the silver. Oh, there's the bronze. Oh, no, that is nice. Oh, yes, no, I'm for that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Right, let's add in all the windows now. Let's stop. I'm just going to use a mixture of these windows as well. And for the back entrance over this way, I think I'll use the same door too. Use the same door. And then just pull a lots of these windows across now. So let's get down to the first level first where we're going to be using the, the grade A windows. Yeah, stunning. What were we talking about just before? Oh, it was um, Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I was looking at the new game and it looks really good. Really, really good. Really good. I loved the last two. Um, Odyssey was probably my favourite out of the last two. Huge game. Absolutely massive. Took about seven years to complete. Still haven't fully completed that game. But um, will that stop me from purchasing the new one? No. No, it will not. Because Vikings, beards... All round sexiness. Um, here for it, to be honest, you know. You know. Wondering if I can get a good door in there. I might just take these off just for the minute and put a door there first before I put windows on it. 
because I think we might be a bit stuck for windows. Um, do I want to do one there? I kind of do. Yeah, I kind of do. So I'm going to do another one there as well. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. This is like right opposite Crookdown as well. Um, it's a cute little area. It really is. Okay. And I want a flag pole on top here. Ooh. Let me find some flags. So I've put some flags just above the doorway here. But also I've put up a crest just above this bit here. I thought that looked rather nice indeed. So we're going to go for that. Now, I'm thinking about getting a trim on. And I think we'll... I don't mind the trim it's got on it already. I just think it needs a little bit more of a substantial one. So we'll go for this one here, which is the beveled out roof trim. I love the beveled out roof trim. Um... Yeah, no, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, this is coming along, isn't it? Definitely coming along. Still absolutely fuming at the fact that this isn't central, but we're going to not let it come between us, are we? No. No, it's the answer to that. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking what else I could do here for the minute, so I'm not leaving this build too early. Okay, what I want to do is... Excuse you. What I want to do is also put these on the curves as well, I think. I'm going to add them all around. Lovely. And then I'm going to start doing some, just some basic landscaping. I don't want anything too much. These are the kind of only entrance and exits in anyway. So maybe we could do like a little garden moment back here. A couple of trees. Um, We'd need to get staircases in here as well. So I'll do that now too. Let's get you there. I'm not going to do a platform at the back here though. Oh, God, will you fit in there? Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, maybe I'll have to do that kind of moment. Okay, what I'll have to do here, which is infuriating, is do this and this, like a saw. Pop you into there. Get those stairs again. The large cutout stairs. And then flop them there. And also there, like so. Oh, hopefully I can... Oh, God, it doesn't allow me to go underneath for the wallpaper. <sighs> oh. Oh. No, no, don't want to. No, I fancy it. So we've had to do something like this on the back just so the stairs can kind of get hidden because the wallpaper wasn't uh, connected onto it. And to be honest with you, I wanted to make this into a little like seating sort of garden area anyway. So that's kind of given me a, a little bit of space to play around with now there, which I'm absolutely full. I really am. Um... Okay, right. We're going to do more of this up here. And the same with the pillars and the columns. I'll choose a back door. A back door, that sounds weird in a town hall, but a door at the back. And um, then what we'll do is uh, do some landscaping together, my friends. Let's get a back door on here. Okay, so I just went for this one here from Seasons. Um, just so it didn't have so much impact as what the bottom one does. Uh, and yeah, it's fine. Absolutely fine. Oh, why are you like that? There we go. Lovely. Yeah, this is coming along, my loves. It really is. Right, what I want to do here is I want to try and match in that tile there. Um, I think the only one that's going to match in is going to be the sidewalk slabs. Yeah, it kind of does. So if I can do that. Oh, God. <laughs> it's that offsetness. I cannot. I cannot. And I think what I'm going to do is just do this to kind of try and help that. Or accentuate it, you know. Either way. I don't know. That kind of balances it in a little bit better. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. And then what we'll go around and do now is wrap in a little garden moment here. So I am going to use... Can I, like, connect you there? Lovely. And then just connect you all the way down to here as well. Stunning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll do the same here. Maybe a bit wonky on this side because... Um, yeah, it is. <laughs> Because I couldn't place this lot balanced because of how many squares are here as well. Which is always fun. Always fun. When you're trying to do a symmetrical build. <sighs> okay. Right, we've got those little moments going on there. I think at the front here, I'll do some 
like landscape. I mean, some like flowers and stuff. But I still need to remember to keep it in the kind of Strangerville-esque kind of vibe, you know? So I will just do like a row of them just around here. And then maybe just down the side there as well. Some nice soil. Don't know if I'm, I'm not going to wrap a fence around that. Not at all. I might do some stones instead because it would be very hard to wrap a fence around this as much as I would want to. Because it's on a curve and it's one tile, which is annoying. We're going to try it anyway. Yeah, yeah, I think that's looking all right. It's not looking bad. It's not looking bad at all. But let me get some landscaping out. There we go. A couple of flower boxes. Now, there are, from where I'm looking, there are a lot of the cactus with the flowers on. Like, so I'm going to try and use similar objects around here. Um, Tree-wise, I might do a tree in either side here and use this tree here because it's used throughout this world. So just to sort of tie it into the area, I'll do that. Um, so what do we need? We need cactus with flowers on. You're not the right one, loves, but you can come and join the party anyway because you've got a little cheeky flower on top and I'm for it. Um, and there's the other one. Where are you? Here they are. I've changed the planters as well. I've used these big ones. I just think they've got a bit more of an impact and I like them at the front of this build. So I'm going to use them and then we'll mix up a few of these. Very symmetrical on either side. I imagine the gardener, the park gardener takes care of these guys storyline purposes you know oh my god look i've never noticed that that triangle does not stick on the corner on a curved corner can you see that very fuming very fuming about that never ever noticed that and that's base game <laughs> so that's how that's how much it um doesn't mean anything <laughs> it doesn't because i've only just noticed it it's just me being a fussy tit it really is a um, couple of these. Yeah, we use a couple of them because I've seen a couple of these around as well. Stunning. Stunning, stunning. There and there. That's not balanced. So I may just whiffle all this a little bit closer. Like a saw. And I don't think I'll mix up any more. I think I'll just go with what we've got already. So I'll go for one more of these. And I think I'll go for one more of these over here. Just in a little bit of a smaller size yeah yeah that should be fine and we'll do the same here then i'm gonna go and find some trees and we'll finish off the exterior tomorrow i may do a little bit off of camera as well depends or depends i've got lots of things to build this week um oh yeah that looks nice very inviting very inviting indeed now with the mayor as well um i would say they are in direct competition with Mrs. Espinosa. I've actually forgot her name, won't lie. Um, I'd say they're in direct... Is it Mysterious Tree? Mysterious Tree. There we go. <laughs> and there she is, right next door to it. Lovely. Then I can pop a couple of these in here. But yeah, the mayor's in like direct competition with Mrs. Espinosa. So I wouldn't say they're on friendly terms, but they're not bad people. You know, they're not bad people. They... They're just on the other side of the political spectrum, like many of us are out there today. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't say they're bad people. We're going to go along the lines of that. Yeah, that's better. That blends it quite nicely into the into the world. Let me just see if this... Oh, God, it's poking right in. I thought I got away with that. Oh, no, I did then, though, look. Maybe I can move that in tighter. Kickity. Kickity. There we go. Yes. Yeah, I'm happy with how that looks. Definitely happy with how that looks. Going to do a few more exterior details and stuff as well, I think. And obviously get a roof line going underneath it there. Is that a roof under there? Oh, it is. It's just because of the hideous white ceiling. Um, But yeah, that's not too bad for a start today. The town hall is coming along. I think it fits in quite well with this world. I mean, it's a little bit more elaborate than the rest of it. But... It's supposed to be. It's the town hall. And that's where we're going with it. Yes. Okay. There we go, my loves. Thank you so much for coming today. I appreciate you. Um, if you've got any ideas, let me know down below. I will always take upon your ideas. Um, 
But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll do a bit more exterior work to this. May even start on the inside tomorrow as well. I'll make sure to come back with a floor plan too. I think that would be a good shot. We've got to make sure to get like mayoral offices in and also a library because that's what this lot is. But um, yeah, I'm going to leave you now. I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.